kind of give us your assessment of the line. This is it, Gus. Yeah. I mean, next week's game week. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I think to this point, I think I think everyone's looked really good. You got a lot of depth, a lot of competition throughout the room. Guys pushing each other, kind of having a good opportunity to build and develop the rest of the room has been an awesome opportunity. And I think we got a lot of really good pieces in the room to have, have a really good unit. Is this the deepest, most talented line you think you've been a part of since I've been here? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how much do you think that could help the run game? You got two good running backs. You got um, this line, and, and do, you, do you really hope that that'll be a big part of the offense? Yeah, I mean, I think the run game should be should be a big piece for us. I mean, you got two two really good backs. I mean, you got really guys behind them, and then you got probably eight nine dudes in the O line room that, that can really compete, and you get guys after that really pushing and pushing to compete in there too. So you get a lot of depth, competition, competition really pushes everybody to bring the best out of themselves, and I think that's really what we've seen from most of the camp so far. You remember Joey before his accident, and then obviously with what happened, yeah. Coach Johnson just said he's, you know, he's further along than I thought, you knowing what he went through. How impressed are you with what he's done in the camp? Uh, I'm, 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 I, I'm really impressed with him, but I'm also kind of with the side like I kind of expected him to do really well because I, I knew the player he was, and kind of, but it, it was kind of the uncertainty of how would he be after the injury. But kind of seeing him in the spring and seeing him now, like he's exactly the player he was before, and he's even he, he's improving on that, and he's. Awesome to be around, great dude, and he's put, put a lot of good stuff on tape with his camp. You can describe him in a few words. What would it be? Uh, I mean, like as a player, he's physical and he's very technical, and he'll, like he'll get after you a little bit. And then, like as a person, he's a great dude. Like he's fun to be around. He'll, he's kind of got his little quirks and stuff, but he's he's a good dude. Yeah. Do you guys have a pretty good friendship? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, going back to how far? I mean, him, 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 and my brother were in the same grade. So like, I've known him. Like, I think my dad coached him and my brother probably in third, fourth grade in travel football. So like, I've known him. And, like, we've been friends and kind of like through that really since then. And like, we've known each other. Kind of had had a really good relationship in high school just because I was kind of the older guy going through it, and mm-hmm. he was the sophomore who was getting recruited. And then you kind of go through that, and you're kind of like, I'm giving him advice about recruiting and kind of going through the same stuff. So. Kind of since then, we've had a good friendship and continue now. Like playing together is awesome. You couldn't sell him on coming to Purdue right away. <laughs> oh, I was trying. That was a that was a tough sell for him. I think I think there's there's a lot of people wanting to go to Notre Dame, especially where he was. You know. But glad he ended up here. Mm-hmm. You talked about this at Big Ten Media Day, but between yourself, Marcus, uh, Maha, um, Corey Stewart, Jalen Grant, a lot of starts. Yep, that's invaluable experience going into the season, and it's a lot of versatile guys. That, that, we saw you switch uh, last year yep. in the Northwestern game just to play different positions. Yes, yeah. How valuable is that just to kind of have that flexibility, I guess, yeah. and experience? I think, like, having versatility throughout a whole offensive line just kind of makes the ability to, if something happens here, you can you can move somebody there. Because it's, it's tough to go through with just five guys or maybe six guys mm-hmm. in the six-second one spot. So kind of having, having versatility and depth just makes it so you don't lose a beat if something happens. And you can move guys around if, if someone's not playing well or – or if someone who is playing well, like, hey, maybe they're playing really well at left tackle for a couple of minutes, like, okay, we're going to move them to right guard or something like that. So just kind of have versatility and depth and really competition throughout the room to really bring the best out of everybody. I think it's really important. If you guys had some better luck on the injury front this year, maybe had all five guys, you know, going through a, a big chunk of the season together, what kind of groove do you think that could get you guys in? Yeah, I mean, I think just kind of having – I mean, health is like always important at this level, and kind of having everybody healthy, I think, would be huge. But either way, for healthy or if we, a couple guys got to step up, I think it's a. I think we built depth and good competition to kind of have a good room. The guy who's kind of impressed as of late is Bikini. Yes. As far as he come. Yeah. Uh, from from like where he was a year ago to now is like light years. Well, he's probably two sixty five last year playing tackle. And now now he's three hundred. He's he's strong. He's physical, and just watching him grow. I mean, because. But last year he had played football for two years, and now he's played football for three years. So like the like gradual progression of that, like you see him picking up on so many things, and he's so coachable, so athletic that he just picks up on so much stuff to kind of, and he, he can apply it so quickly that he just kind of builds, and he's he's awesome to be around. Okay. One guy I've heard some talk about the true freshman, Jaden Ball. Yep. What do you think of him? Jaden's a good dude, yeah, and he's uh, he. He will be a really good player here. Just kind of the development he's had, in my, in my opinion, I think he's had a great, great, great camp, and he's he's a great competitor. So it kind of has that, and he has a little bit of mean streak, but he he, in my opinion, kind of has a good mentality for the freshman kind of coming in. He just wants to work. He just goes out to work, and if he if he, if he ends up getting on the field, I, I think he'd be great. If if he if he doesn't this year, I, I don't think he's going to take that as a 
down. Like I, th I think he's going to keep working and keep building, and I think he's going to be a great, great player here for a pr pretty long time. Knock on wood, this group seems pretty healthy right now. Um, and what you went through last year, that's probably the biggest asset is just being available, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, especially like we got a lot of guys harping on it now, just like take care of your body going into the season, just kind of being able to stay healthy and kind of keep keep the depth we have now and not not end up in a situation where last year just kind of hopefully keeping everybody healthy and take care of the bodies is, is a big priority for everybody. Can, can you be doing everything right in terms of nutrition and off the field and, and, and you know, keeping yourself – putting yourself in the best position and then still get hurt and, yeah. and how does that feel i yeah like i kind of went through that a couple years ago right but it was kind of like where you're kind of going through that and then it's football right like it's a I, like i've kind of heard before and i'll say it now so it's kind of like if you play football long enough it's it's a matter of when you get hurt not if you get hurt it's just kind of that maybe you get rolled up on something like that like you, something's going to happen here and there so that's just kind of mm -hmm. taking that like kind of the prehab stuff the rehab stuff just anything you get to kind of maybe maybe do a little bit of this so when you come back your return is two weeks instead of four just kind of having stuff like that because at some point everyone's going to get hurt just nature nature of football the unfortunate reality of it yeah, kind of follow up on Jaden. i've talked to a lot of offensive linemen over the years who are like well i showed up my first year thinking i'm i should be able to play and then you get here and you realize no yep. i'm like two years away at best yep. so what is it about him that was there like a moment where you saw a, a particular thing that you saw that was like no this might be different I think it's just for me it's just kind of his mentality like he comes in just works like he puts his head down and works he's he's not a real vocal dude like he's gonna come in and work kind of kind of reminds me of myself a little bit freshman just coming to work and just like see see where it lies like see what happens like going with the expectation that may, maybe i'm not playing but i'm gonna work and do everything i can to play but not with the oh my gosh if i play i've got to like i'm disappointed if i don't so i think i think he's got a great mentality and just seeing him on the field he's, he's working every day Gonna keep the beard tightly trimmed this year, or you, is it time to start letting it go throughout the season? Uh, we'll see. I haven't really made up my mind yet, but it'll be. I'll probably next couple weeks. I'll, I guess in what a week I have to make up my mind, but we'll see. Yeah. Can we call you the Admiral? Yeah, I mean that's what a lot of people have started saying. So, <laughs> old uh, Coach Williams was a big <laughs> the Admiral guy. Hey, the, the, the helmet communication with the quarterbacks, is that affecting your job at all or the, the communication that you guys have with – you have with Hudson? Or? Yeah, not really. It's just kind of – I think Coach is talking to him a little bit, but that's not – because he's still just really telling us to play. That's kind of how we go. So yeah. it doesn't change much for us at front.